Well, hello, good morning to you. Hope you're well. It's a cloudy morning. Uh, God's in control, regardless. Uh, great uh, Lord's Day. It's amazing how many people you actually reach on social media, isn't it? Over a thousand viewed last night and same on Sunday. Uh, about a couple of thousand in total. So God is definitely up to something. I'm not sure there's too many people know what he's up to, but we're confident that uh, he is. So can we just pray? Let's just pray. Father, we do thank you that you are a God who orders our paths, our steps, and the path that we take. And we want to follow you, and we want to be servants to you, Lord. And we want to do, to the best of our ability, what it is you've called us to do. So help us and energize us to do just that through the power of the Holy Spirit. We do pray for the sick again, pray for Pauline and Helen and Violet. And we pray for Joe, Father. We pray for Herbie, Father God. We pray for Robin, who needs that touch. Continue to touch young Harry also. And others, Lord, who stand in need. We pray for Jean, Father, who's now at home. And we just pray you would touch Jean and strengthen her. So, Lord, heal, touch, restore and save. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm stop this phone there because I heard it pinging you probably heard it uh, always the way anyway i want to read from uh, james uh, chapter 4 this bible james 4 and 13 it says this go to now you that say to today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain whereas you know not what shall be on tomorrow you don't know what tomorrow holds for what is your life it is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then it vanishes away uh i was thinking about these verses and uh it's so true isn't it that that life is is, is a vapor we're if we're blessed to get three score and ten quite a lot of people unfortunately don't even get that far but uh Out of control is a, a phrase that has been brandished around consistently or we're or, or we're not in control has been brandished around consistently over the last year and, and because we're not in control there's been lockdown and guidelines and social distancing and masks and cleanliness there's been everything to try and take control to try and gain control uh once again and yet the, the bible warns us that it is an illusion it is a complete and utter illusion for us to feel that we are in control for us to feel that we can even be in control so what do we do then well it's quite simple isn't it we hand control over to god the illusion may be that we're in control, but it is certainly not an illusion that God is in control. There are times in our life when we're going well and then all of a sudden, like a bolt of lightning, disaster comes and we didn't even see it coming. We were blindsided and we don't even know where it came from or how it even happened. And it sort of rocks our whole being. And the reason it rocks our whole being is because we are people who like to be in control. We like to have a hand on things. But rea the reality is we are not. The Bible is very clear that we cannot even create an anxious thought. But the God we serve, and this is where we as Christians have the hope that I spoke about yesterday morning. The God we serve is in complete and utter control. Even when it appears he's not. Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Even when we don't know you're working, even when we don't see you're working, it is so easily to lose hope. It is so easily to be downcast when we fail to understand that God is in control. The reason on many occasions we are fearful, the reason on many occasions why we are downcast is because it seems that the control that we never had in the first place has now been taken from us. 
and that's where we make the fatal mistake and that's very often why we feel the way we feel you are not in control so the advice today is to hand over your problem hand over your difficulty to god because god is working even when you don't see him you you, you ought to know and believe that he is working. God is in control. I want to be. I want to be following someone. I want my problems. I want my difficulties to be given over to someone who knows what to do with them, who knows how to work it out, and is in complete control. Not only is he is he in control of our affairs, he is in control of nature. He is control of the heavens and the earth. He is in the control of everything. And some of the the, the truths that he has promised in 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 our word in his word uh, are very are very sure for those of us who follow after him in other words death is an entrance into his kingdom that that is someone who is in perfect control and jesus says no one can pluck you from his hand so that's a control that god has he has control to forgive your sins there's no condemnation to those who are in christ jesus because god is in control of the salvation package you're not in control of the salvation package don't be coming disjointed and feeling one day you're saved and the next day you're not the truth is that you're not in control and the truth is you never were in control and we need to lay aside this 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 sense of ability that we have to to control our daily affairs to control our health to control our our families and and we need to hand it over to god because if god knows how to control then surely god knows the words of wisdom to put into our hearts our minds our spirits so that we can work it out and at least gain control for him so let's be encouraged today let's understand this today we're not a defeated foe we have a god who is in control of the daily affairs this pandemic do you think it caught God out? Do you think God doesn't know what he's doing? Of course God knows what he's doing. Even what the enemy meant for evil, God, who is in so much control, can turn it to good. Whatever the enemy meant for evil in your life, in your family today, understand this and believe this as you relinquish control and hand it over to God. Even what the enemy meant for evil in your life, God can make it and mean it for good. And the reason he can do that is that he is outside of all of our existence and a God who is in complete control and no one can take that control from him. He doesn't relinquish that control and he's on our side. He is not against us. He is for us. So give it over to him today. Relinquish the control that you never had in the first place and give it over to God. He is in control of our daily affairs who orders our steps and directs your paths and then stand back and watch God move. May God bless you today. Have a wonderful day.